local recording started there we go so yes the bird nerd as as the title says i've arrived on time today huzzah as the title suggests bird nurse bird nurse arc is over dog nurse arc has begun so we found a place uh if you haven't been in the last few streams i saved a dove from a falcon and we keep it in our house for a while but it seemed to be getting better and then the other day we finally found a uh a place to take it in it, it took a while for a while there we were scared we we're gonna just have to keep it for as long as it took to get healed but we found a place eventually but that was the same day one of our uh, our littlest dog had surgery little buddy had surgery so then we had to pick him up so now i gotta now i gotta nurse my dog back to health even though he's actually pretty fine and this is it it's a surgery he actually did we i did not finish this world okay where am i i got this i got that yeah i've got all the yoshi yeah i've gotten all the yoshis okay let's just hop into, into big tree yoshi branches out Good, the burb is a good place now, though. Yeah, and, and the person and the person was pretty confident. They totally seemed like they knew what they were doing and everything. Where's the hidden item? I'm just always going to put the shit on, man, so I don't miss stuff. Um, But yeah, it's not a surgery hasn't been through before. Last year, he had just this bump that was growing on him, and we had it taken out, and it just came back this year, and we took it out again. We don't think... There's no signs to it being cancerous, though, or anything, so no problem there. Oh, it's this. It's the spinning rock. Um... But yeah, you know, no, so nothing. It's not so we're not worried about that. We're, the only reason we've gotten rid of both of them. Ooh. The only reason we've gotten rid of both of them is because they were both so close to his spine. We didn't like the idea of them getting any bigger, so we just got them taken out. Last time he had like a bigger scar with like a bunch of staples in it, and like I had to have a tube to drain it, drain it out. This time though, he just has a few stitches. There's some stitches, maybe like one or two staples. Nothing serious though. It's not nearly as 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 harrowing as the other time was. I remember when it first happened when I did I we didn't know he was gonna have to have the tube and a big old thing of staples, and I was like, what did they do to my dog? They turned him into a freak. Um But this time he's way better. This time I'm not even worried about it. I just gotta make sure he doesn't like roll on his back or anything. And he hasn't, he's a good boy. The poor baby also had to have some teeth removed recently, so like this poor my poor child has had to go through so much. After his teeth got pulled, yeah, it was actually way... He listened way more. I'm so... And me and my mom were like... I, we're wondering why that is. Well, whatever. But yeah. Now the dog nurse arc is here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But like I said, I'm not too worried about it. He's a... He's a... He's a... Nothing gets him down. Nothing really gets little buddy down ever. He's just like a little brat. He's a little freak. He's a monster. He's a freak in my eyes. Even if after his pull the pulling of his front teeth, he looks less like the little freak he did. What kind of dog is he again? Oh, he's like a chihuahua. But he's like a big chihuahua. So we think he's maybe got like... He's either a purebred or he's got something else in him. Because he's, he's about the size of like the average size for a little dog. You know, he's not like a little, little dog. He's like, you know... A, uh... You know, around the same size as like a... In height wise like a bulldog or something you know what i mean like average little dog size mm -mm -mm. Dun, 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 dun. oh there's shit over there but yeah uh so yeah, that's all good what else has been going on there was something else i wanted to talk about immediately but i don't remember now bum 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 uh, oh, this is the thing. I probably should have streamed yesterday because I was stupid. Because I was stupid, I did. I, my brain wasn't working. Because I was like, "Oh yeah, for uh, I know you're trying to avoid stuff for the Mario movie. You definitely want to avoid it on March 9th. Why? What's happening on March 9th? Oh, is there gonna be like an early screening? Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely remove like Mario movie out of every. I'm gonna have to like go and use my YouTube like video blocker and type in the keywords Mario movie, and I'm gonna have to do that on uh. Twitter as well soon here. Thank you for telling me that. I will do that. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have streamed yesterday because I was stupid and like in my brain I was like, yeah, Return to Dreamland Deluxe comes out Friday, I'll, so I'll play it at nine because it comes out at mi you know midnight EST. But then I was like, wait, that I can play it. To I'm gonna be able to play it tomorrow at nine EST, not Friday. I, like my brain wasn't thinking, so I probably should have streamed yesterday so I could have had today off, and then. 
and then I, you know, then I could have played Curb. I don't know why my brain wasn't working, man. How many do I have? I have three. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. I think I'm good. What is this, World 4? So we're like more than halfway through the game at this point, because there's only six worlds a la normal Yoshi shit, except Yoshi's on the DS, which only has five. Now there's another Nintendo Direct for the final preview trailer. Oh, did they say that? March 9th? That's, well, that's a bit of ways. It's only February. I probably won't see it. I pro I think I am. I'm pretty satisfied with the, what we, the information we have now. But then that, there's so, that's so long, man. It depends on what's in it, I guess. I guess I'll mute the words for now. Uh, you know, around the time when it's time. And then I'll just ask somebody, like, hey, how bad, how bad was it? Is it, like, a lot of shit? Is it, like, a lot of spoilery shit? Oh, no, a lot of places in the world are no longer getting it early. Uh, they delayed the move from some areas to be in April now, just like other places. Oh, nice. Michael's gonna be mad about that. Because he was talking shit the other day, like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna spoil it for you, man. That dude's... That's pretty funny, man. I can't wait to tell him that if he shows up. There we go. I still do think this is way ten times better than Crafted World. I, I was looking through my, like, folders uh, on my Switch, and I'm like, oh, yeah. No, nah, I just saw the Crafted World logo, and I'm like, man... That game just not that good. Was it? Was Crafted World also by Good Feel? Because I feel like they really phoned it in for that game. The only good thing about that game is the rea interactions between uh, I almost said Bowser Jr. Baby Bowser and Kamek. That's the only good thing about that game. I think Japan's getting it a bit later though. Unfortunately, listen, man, they get video games early. Well, not anymore. Right now, it's it, a lot of things are universally released. What's up here? I feel like there's something up here. Nope. All right. Hmm. No, I meant that I heard it was later in April in other places. I don't care, man. That means I, whatever. As long as I get to see it, man. I don't care where it releases later or early. I just want to see the goddamn movie. Why are you barking? Get out of here. One second. This son of a bitch. Sorry about that. Mother is home, so I no longer have to watch the dog. They did change Mario's Wahoo, though, in the Mario Kart section, so there's that. Interesting. I wonder how much of Chris Pratt's... If, like, I wonder if they, like... If that's a Wahoo from a different part in the movie, or if they told him to redo the Wahoo. I wonder if they've told him to redo any lines after his, you know... Uh, not-so-stellar reception by the public. You know what I mean? Probably not. But, uh, maybe a bit. Maybe a few lines here and there. Mm. I can see that, definitely. Bum, but I'm... Bro, are you kidding me? Thank God, I have to die now. That was probably one. Alright. I have to die, because that was definitely, like, with how, where we are on the level right now, that was probably one of them. There we go. I heard they apparently altered Chris Pat's voice somewhere like Mario, huh? Oh, okay, 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 okay. They did change the Mario's in there. Well, uh, you know, in some trailers they have certain things in trailers that doesn't appear in the movie at all. That's also true. Am I all the way back? Where am I? I mean, there's nothing here, so I don't really care. There was no thing. I do like this Yoshi. This is a good Yoshi. This Apple Yoshi. Apple, yo, it's the 1984 Apple ad, but with Yoshi. I was talking with this my dad the other day when we were watching, um... The Marathon Man, or whatever the hell the movie was called. We were saying how, like, you could put your main character through the most horrendous, horrible shit, but as long as they're okay in the end, it's like... I kind of don't mind. You know what I mean? Like, you could make him, like... Because in, in the Marathon Man, he's literally, like, being tortured by... Not an, by like a guy, you know, after World War II, a lot of Nazi scientists were basically saved by the U.S. government and like worked at NASA and shit. So like you could thank Nazis for getting us to the moon, I guess. But, um, 
But um, it's basically yeah. He gets he, they miss they think he knows something about this Nazi guy with a bunch of diamonds gonna get robbed, and so they like torture him like they torture him heavily until they tells them, but he doesn't know anything. So oh, fuck. I'll take that. Uh, but like in the end, he's fine. Like, but he goes through like so much horrible shit. I don't know. I feel like. Because when you have a movie where your main character goes through so much through so much horrible shit, and then they just... and then the, But then the ending is still sad and fucked up. It's just like, I don't know, it just makes me be like, why did I watch this movie? Right? Like that, like 1984 for an example. That's what that's why I thought about this. So... It's one of those things, you know what I mean? I don't know, I, like, yeah, I don't know, I just feel like... Because at the... It, it, Sure, even if they're, like, left mentally scarred over, at least they're, like, alive, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a mar marketing technique. Yeah, yeah. For the Mario movie, yeah. Alright. Let's kill these idiots. Sorry, I heard someone yell, and that freaked me out for a second. I think everything's fine. Uh, these nipper plants, man. Nippers were in... These guys were Mario, th were Mario 3, right? Or am I getting them confused with the black ones? These dudes are ba like, what? I feel like a lot, though, I don't know, maybe that's just, like, jargon. I was about to say, it feels like so many Mario games have enemies that are similar to each other, but just in different appearance. And then I was like, well, I'd rather have that than the same enemies all the time, at least we then get some new looks, right? I don't want that. I don't care about the flowers. But yeah. That's why I don't really, like, there's a lot of movies. I, I don't get how people can watch movies that are just, like, depressing. They just have, like, depressing endings. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, like in Marathon Man, it's not like a happy, happy ending. Like he gets away, right? Like he doesn't, everyone he knows, like is dead basically. But like he's, you know, he, he has the ability to things for it to turn out all right. You know what I mean? There were plants or Yoshi and Island, I do believe. The black ones are called munchers. Yes, that's right. Uh... Yeah, I, like, I just can't watch shit that has a depressing ending. My favorite type of movies, I've realized, and I feel like this is why we need movies. We need to bring back movies like this. We need to bring back Indiana Jones, like, adventure serials. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I've learned I really, really love. I love, like, going on adventure. Find the, the ancient grail, the holy grail, blah, blah, blah. You know, the ancient treasure that holds a demon. I like that shit. That's the good stuff. Is this the final... Wrong button? Is this the final piece of wool? It is not. I only have one more, so it's gotta be around here somewhere. This foliage could really... I like how the foliage is like doilies. That's a nice touch. That's real... Oh, there it is. That's a nice... That's a nice visual. Like, that's a good use of, like, the theming of the game. It's like, oh, yeah, let's have doilies be, like, the foliage. And then, meanwhile, in Craft the World, it just feels like nothing is anything. You know what I mean? Like, there's no effort into, like, oh, we make a can of, a, like, a wall. Y you know what I mean? I feel like there's nothing to it. They'll just, they'll just put, like, straight up a carton. And, and, like, it won't even really be looking like anything. Meanwhile, this everything is made to look like something within the context of the world, right? Like, like, Paper Mario, and, like, it's not literally, you know, it doesn't, you don't literally feel like this, you know, I don't know. It, it, they do what they do with the style. They don't, like, it's not, they don't just make it, oh, look, it's like cartons. Isn't that so cute that he's that small? Oh, see, so yeah, a good feel did do Crafted World. Mm -mm. I can't either. I'm morally depressed enough. I got to get that last wool again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like they didn't even really try. The only cool thing about Craft of the World is that the, it has Superstar Saga references. Uh, that's, like, the only good thing about it. Like, there's a reference to the Bean Bean Cafe and shit and, like, Starlo cookies or whatever. Even though I think Starlo... Would, it, I don't like Starlo. I really don't. I think she's... She's not as bad as... Uh, Brittany, I was about to say... She's just like Britney, but I think I like Britney more than I like Starlo. Because at least Britney fucking does something. She's like a playable character that's out there doing shit. She's she's valuable. Starlo isn't even... What the hell does Starlo do, man? What did Starlo ever do that was impressive or cool? 
I still remember at the end of Paper Jam, when there's like that segment where you're fighting with Nabbit in Bowser's Castle and he controls just like Mario and Luigi do, and I'm like, man, that could have been a fun bit to have him be playable or something, do some sort of something with that, but they didn't. I got no flowers. I don't give a fuck. A lot of Mario adjacent games didn't try on the Switch. I've said, you know, I've said this, uh, I feel it's... Now, I don't want, you know, I'm not going to be like some of those dudes on YouTube with the thumbnails you've seen, like, Nintendo forgot about Mario. But it does feel like we've hadn't had just, like, a good, solid Mario game. I don't know. Like, I just, I, we need something new from Mario. That's not a spin-up. We need something new. We need something fresh, like Odyssey did. But they seem to just, like, made Odyssey, and they're like, all right, that's good enough. And, like, don't get me wrong, I fucking love Odyssey. But that was at the beginning of this thing. That was, like, the first year of its life. And now this is six years in. And we haven't had a, another Mario game, like, mainline Mario game since then. I don't know. I don't I don't feel like... And I don't... I mean, you look at the Wii, that had three mainline Mario games. Look at the Wii U, that had, I guess, only one. But you think, with the Switch being so popular, they would, would want to have wanted to turn another mainline Mario. That's why I hope that new... Uh, that new... That rumored new 2d mario game is real because i'd i'd really like that you know as long as it's not new super mario brothers Wii, you know the m multiplayer in that game can be fucking crazy sometimes could be real it could be a real chaos guys leave a propeller suit for each of us yeah don't be selfish obama what did we just say my bad bro guys you need to listen if we don't get the star coins then we will need to go back and get them after what's a star coin this guy is dumb as hell bro i'm going through the pipe what the fuck, Obama? We forgot to get the star coin. Too bad. What, how did I die? I thought you killed the hammer, bro. Should have been paying attention to the game, not sleeping, buddy. Ah, fuck you. Guys, let me on the flagpole. I need to get a one-up. Nope, too slow. Well, now, noob. Trump, check your DMs. Okay, is that a fucking picture of my house? Issuing drone strike now. Man, people say Mario Party kills friendships. More like New Super Mario Brothers Wii, am I right? Well, you had two new... Oh, yeah, we did have two. Well, Star was fine, but I was like, but she's absolutely god-awful everywhere else. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I can definitely agree with that. No killing Hammer Brothers. They're too hunky to deserve that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill every Hammer Brother in every game I see, because they're cool enemies, but also they're pieces of shit, man. They're little shits. Especially in Super Mario Brothers 1. Super Mario... Super Mario Brothers. Uh... All right, this is the sh this is the sh God damn it. God damn it. Uh, ugh. You know what's funny about that video is like, it's all presidents, right? And then just Ben Shapiro is there. I think that's pretty funny. I think that's pretty funny. Ben Shapiro is a little shit, man. He's got a funny voice. If only he wasn't like a piece of shit, then he, because then he, I think he'd be a good voice actor in a cartoon. He's got like a Tom Kenny. He sounds like Ben Shapiro's voice sounds like Tom Kenny doing a voice, right? You know what I mean? Man, I love Tom Kenny. I'm thinking about all of Tom Kenny's roles now. I think maybe recently just because I did watch Transformers Animated and he's Starscream in that, and he was really good as Starscream. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, hell, yeah, love that. That's why, you know, it's funny, you know, it's kind of funny to think of, like, you know, like, in comic books and shit, there's, like, other universes where this character's good or this character's bad, or, like, this villain is actually a good guy in this universe. And it's, like, it's funny to think about that, but with, like, real-life shitty people. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Mm, I think that's funny. I think that's, like, a funny thought process. Like, evil, good Sh Ben Shapiro from the alternate universe from Earth-12. And where he sounds like a baritone, uh, with a baritone voice, and he, like, solves world hunger. Uh, they aren't anywhere near as bad as Lakitu's IMO. I think Hammer Brothers are a good skill check, and when you beat them, they stay going. Like, Lakitu's just keep annoying. I don't know, as long as you just keep moving, though, Lakitu's can't really do anything. H Hammer Brothers halt you in your place. Like, they force you to stop. This is literally just Naval Piranha. That's nothing. I don't care about these beads. Uh, like somewhere in the universe, there's an evil version of me that's on Twitter saying horrible things. That's saying the gamer word. Yo, they made their bodies little ribbons for the for the for the walking piranhas. That's pretty good. I like that. 
There's some there's a universe where I was on that bridge in pub. There's some universe. God forbid. In some distant timeline. Uh Mario, if Mario was here, he'd, be, he'd try to gaslight everyone in this chat saying, that's this timeline, man. I'm like, then I'd say, no, that's not this timeline. This is the good timeline. Two. Thank goodness the wolves are pretty straightforward here in the castles. Uh, yeah, because Hammer Brothers serve as a good skill check, like I said. Like, I don't know. I feel like you could just kind of avoid Lakitu's. And you could even, like... You can... Here's the, I, the reason why Lakitu's are easier, because you can even get an advantage from them by taking the cloud. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't need, you could, you, you could like get something from it. With a hammer brother, you, they're in your way and they kill you and that, you know, that's it. That one hammer brother in the final level of Super Mario Brothers 1, where it's that hammer brother right before Bowser, that guy sucks. I hate that one. That's the worst hammer brother in the history. The worst hammer in any of the games, in any of the original four Mario platformers, that guy's the worst. I hate that dude. Fuck that hammer brother. All my brother, all my homies hate that singular, singular hammer brother. I think the Hammer Brothers work good in 3D, too. I think people, you know, obviously talk about them. Talk about them in a 2D sense. But I think in, like, shit like Mario Galaxy 2 and stuff, they work pretty good. There we go. Oh, that was for nothing, man. Wasting my balls. I'm wasting so many of my balls. That's true, but the cloud often doesn't really lead to anything good. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I feel like there's only one time in Mario World where... I, in in the history of 2D Mario, where like the never actually did something, these blue pipes are usually a secret. No, I can't tell if because because the water's messing up my jumps. Okay, no, definitely not. Uh, I have three more to get. But uh, bu 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 bu. I do want to say that I've noticed a lot lately that I've been getting a lot of views on the YouTube videos. So people who watch the YouTube videos, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. I've been seeing I've been getting like 20 lately, and I appreciate that. I know it depends a lot on the what game I play. Like the Shovel Knight series, while being like tied for my second longest stream series with Thousand Year Door. Like there are some just some videos in that playlist that still have no views, and I'm not like you know, I'm not like saying like views, please. I'm just, you know I'm just stating. I've noticed, I've noticed that it depends on the game. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of the Mario Party videos have a lot of views, and I think that's just because people, like, love their Mario Party, you know what I'm saying? Just like I do. I like, Who doesn't love a nice, fun round of Mario Party, man? Sometimes I think it also depends on how, like, are there any other good playthroughs of this game, and I am providing... Yeah, you think I wasn't gonna see this secret right here, man? Did I miss anything while I was walking by and I was talking? I'm popping. What do you mean you're popping? Uh, I suppose you can just pass by Hammer Brothers easily, too. You just have to find an opening. Yeah, but, like, they force you to stop. You can't just, like, keep... With Alakatu, like you can just keep going and not worry about anything. With a with a Hammer Brother, they you have to stop in your tracks and think. Not so much with Boomerang Brothers. Boomerang Brothers is definitely easier. Because of, like, the way their... Their their boomerang is a bit more predictive than, um... Than the hammers are. I feel like the hammers are so, like... They're, they either throw, like, one or, like, three at a time. Or they go back to, like, two. It's, like, so weird. Where there's some, like, common, you idiot. Uh, uh, though, you can just get... If you're going full speed before... Uh, you can also get past them pretty easy if you're going full speed before you get to them. Mm, I don't know about that. That's true. The cloud often does not really lead to anything good. What the fuck? What the hell, Peter? What? What? You can't say that. You can't say that on 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 my in my chat room. I'm gonna ban you right now, right now. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, next wool piece. I'm in, I need to get three. Uh. I need the third one. I feel like I've passed it at this point, man. Get your mama trolled. What the hell? I'm gonna tell her you said that. I'm gonna tell her you said that. How do you feel about that, hmm? You gonna make my mom sad, huh? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, not so funny now, is it? 
Oh, I probably needed those bombs. God, I might need to kill my... Oh. I feel like I'm missing the third one. I feel like I'm going to find the fourth one. I'm going to have to restart this level. You know what? I'm not hitting this. Until I know where I'm at. Uh... I need... I need I'm to find... Like, I've gone through, like, five rooms. And I have not found this other... Oh. Yep, okay. Then I need to die. Because I missed it. This might send me back a good ways, but so be it. So be it. Uh, it wasn't there. I tried getting in there, and it was not... Like, that looks so precarious that it's like it's gonna be in there, but it's not. Let me try one more time, I guess. No, it's... I'm like... Yeah, there's no way. I'm hitting my head on it. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, I just need to double check that. Uh, hello, Liam Kid. Wow, welcome to the stream. Thank you for thank you for coming. I appreciate it. First time chatter. I'm trying to find the third wool piece right now because I missed it. You know what? It's probably in this. It's probably in that one. It's probably in that one. I didn't even see that one. But now I am. Oh, yeah, you. I need you. It's definitely here. It's got to be here. No, bro. Come on. You can't have, like, a bunch of blue pipes and not lead it to anything. I really want this game. It's pretty... It's it's definitely... Play, replaying it, I probably hadn't played this game since 2016. Ow. Uh, and replaying it on stream, it made me... Like, this is probably the second best Yoshi game. Honestly. Is it, like... It's... Because Crafted World is a little... Eh. Yoshi's on the DS while I have nostalgia for it. It's not the best i think the levels are a little obtuse and i think there's some things that make the style clash though, though i do think the i think the baby mechanic was a really good good idea but i just think they didn't um think uh like use it well i always thought it was weird that baby donkey kong made slash cranky kong maybe question mark had the shoulder bash but then baby wario didn't when literally the shoulder bash is like wario i don't know i thought that was weird gotta be like in this room it's gotta be in this room somewhere if it's not in this room then i might need to redo the whole level where is this shit? i can't uh but 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 read my comment poopy head i'll tell my mom you were cyberbullying me and stole my v bucks what the hell i will yeah i did steal your v bucks because i like fortnite i do be indeed playing fortnite he needed him to be money related and give him a ma giant magnet. That which doesn't even do anything, which I feel like I don't know. And then you have baby Bowser for so little. Can I go through one of these water pipes? I'm missing something here, man. I might need I think I might need to redo the uh, it all again. Cause like this is where I Yeah, okay. I'm gonna need to reset. I'm gonna need to reset because I definitely missed this. I need it, man. I need to get all all the I need all the Yoshis. Because it's actually good. Not the V-Bucks, that's right. I actually... Uh, I, so I think I was talking about how I finally... I got Epic Games Launcher to have Fortnite on my PC. But I don't remember what my account on my PS4 Fortnite was. So I just made a new one. And like, it's... The Battle Pass is so... Like, I guess you only gotta pay for it once. But also, like, I wish... But I don't know. I don't want to have to really... Like, uh, it's one of those... You know when you, like, get a game and you're like... Oh, do, do I play this enough to buy this in-game purchase? You know what I mean? I've been mean. I missed my playing with my friends last night because, like, I just don't. For, like, okay, so you used to be. I used to be able to mute a server, and then, but I, if there was an at, if someone added me, I'd still get like the number pop up notification and stuff. Now I don't. That doesn't happen anymore. I don't know why that doesn't happen anymore. Now I just have that server unmuted, so I hear every message that goes through it. And I missed a random Fortnite man. I'd I've been playing Fortnite with another friend, but he's bad at it. It's Mario. I've been playing Fortnite with Mario. But he, he's bad at it, man. We never get a W. So I need to I need to play with these other two friends so I can actually get a W. Because I'm, I'm actually pretty decent at first-person shooters, I think. I'm surprised I'm surprised that I'm 
at, at, as good at the game as I am. I'm, I realize, I'm not super good with the controller, but I remember when Fortnite, Fortnite Infinite, Halo Infinite multiplayer was free and I, we played it. That's what it is. This is where it is. Probably. Um, but I was pretty good at it with the controller. So, I'm, you know. It's fun. I do enjoy Fortnite. It's like a nice, to, it's nice to just get into it and play too. You could do like big, long game or you could just do a few. I did also enjoy Halo Infinite. I thought Halo Infinite was pretty fun for like the week that it, we, me and friend, my friends played it. But unfortunately, that was also the week where my computer started was being weird and like i missed everyone playing it which made me sad man because i enjoyed it i enjoyed the funny halo all right i gotta like search every pipe before i go anywhere okay so that's two mm. i remember on my ps4 uh epic account or whatever i have like a reuse skin now it's just gone man this is gone i wish like you could just I, I hate, like, this battle pass system. I wish you could just, like... I, oh, skin on shop. Buy skin for, like, $5. Like, Sea of Thieves does it, man. Sea of Thieves has a nice in-game purchase system. Where it's, like... At most, a thing will be, like, 5 bucks, 7 bucks. I need to... I need to go back up. I should have... This is a mistake. Yes! Yes! I need to... Stop. I need to make... Double... Make sure... I haven't missed anything. Did I go in these pipes over here that I looked at and thought of to go in, but I didn't? But yeah, uh... What else is... Yeah, so I will be streaming... Okay. I will be streaming uh, Return of Dreamland Deluxe tomorrow. It'll be late, though, and it probably won't be long. You know, I'll do it at, like, 9 p.m. my time, because that's when the game will come out. That's one good thing about being on the West Coast, baby, is that games come out, like, three hours earlier. I feel like... It'd be down here or something. So, yeah, I probably, that's why, why I probably should have streamed yesterday, because then I could have today off. But, ah, so be it. So be it. All right. It has to be in this room. It has to be. There's no other place this shit could be. I'm not going to leave this room until I've searched every nook and cranny. I like how they add these little sparkle things in the water to try to, like, get that sparkle. Okay. I've tried this pipe multiple times. It is not go inable. Ow. I'm looking for, like, anything I can go under. Nope. Nope, can't go in that one either. Where is this, man? I feel like I'm going insane. It's not like I can get down here. That's hearts. I feel like I'm gonna go nuts. I really like the new art style they're using for Return. I do too. It's it's very reminiscent of one of the other canceled Kirby uh, Kirby games, the one that was gonna look like a 2D pop-up book in my mind. Where the where is this? I'm going. I'm sh I'm going. I'm going to kill. I will kill. Like, am I missing something? Do you guys see something that I don't? Like, am I being stupid right now? can't go down there. I can't go through these. You can't go down platforms in this game. And then this... There's like nothing. Am I- am I insane? Am I gonna- I'm gonna have to look up this level. I'm gonna have to do this shit right now because I'm- I'm a terrible gamer. So, uh, Liam Kid, wow, if you're still here, you gotta learn it. I am not, in fact, a bad game. I'm not a real gamer. I'm bad at video games. For the most- well... Some, uh, half of the time, I am bad at video games. 
This is like the only secret in this entire room, and this does not lead to a thing of wall. I'm gonna have to look this shit up right now. I do have the secret revealer on. Yeah, I do. Okay, one second. Let me look. What is this level called? No, this is naval. Oh, this is just a straight up returning boss. Naval Piranha Sewer. Naval Piranha Sewer. It's going to be somewhere obvious and I'm going to shit my pants. Where is this? Okay, there's the second one. What? Oh my god, that's so dumb. That's so stupid, man. That's stinky. That's stinky what I just saw happen. Alright. Hopefully I didn't screw my heart. I think I can go back. I think I'll be alright. So... I feel like there's no precedent for it. I will say, I think these collect this is a good collectible. But I do think some, some... Like... I do think... Some of these are a little too obtuse or a little too obscure. Though, again, maybe I'm just stupid. Which is entirely possible. So this is what you gotta do, alright? I would never think this in a million years. Like, what set? Like, that's, that's, there's not, like, one of those, like, exclamation point badges down there. There's nothing. It's just, like, there's nothing to indicate that that would lead to that other than, like, get the beads. It's a little obtuse, man. A little obtuse. All right. All right. Let's not die, because I only have one hit. Oh, I did watch the other day, because I had vague memories of this movie when I was... I must have watched it when I was like 7 or 8 or something. Because I only have vague memories, but I guess they're more than vague, because I remember almost everything about this movie for whatever reason. But I watched, um... Matilda? That's I hear people talk about that movie a lot, honestly, because I don't know why. I, mean, I know it was directed. Sorry, my eyes are hurting out of nowhere. What the fuck? I know it's directed by Dan Vito and he also plays Matilda's horrible dad, but it's like that's an alright movie. It's alright. It's like something. It's definitely one of those. It kind of feels almost in the same realm as something as like. As something as like Jumanji. Though I do. I love the original, man. And now I, I just started thinking. I'll try to get some. Uh, they get sneaky for these later worlds. Mm -mm. Um. Man, I fucking love Jumanji. The original Jumanji, not the horrible new one with The Rock. No offense to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But, man, that original Jumanji is something. One of my favorite movies starring Robin Williams. I, it's so good, man. If you've never seen the original Jumanji, I'd highly recommend checking it out. It's a it's a joy of a movie. It's one of those magical movies. Like, it's one of those magical movies that's in, that gets ingrained in your brain. It might also be, the, like, it's just one of those things where... You know, you'll have like a movie, a VHS around or a DVD when you were a kid and you just watched it a million times and like you kind of that it kind of became like you just so you just know it. That could but I also think I watch it now still and I think it's a great movie. A movie I used to also watch as a little kid and I haven't watched it in fucking forever is um the story. T what is that movie where it starts out live action and it's a kid and he goes to a library, but then he goes to like a book world and there's like a book character that's and he's adventure and there's a fairy godmother character and she's like fantasy and then there's horror, who's like a little hunchback book. Is that the story? Is that what that's called? The storyteller and like the library and is the wizard? Is that what I'm thinking of right now? That's a movie. I haven't seen that movie in ages. That movie freaked me out though. There's a part where they get bored by a big dragon. Like the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde segment, that freaked me out when I was little. I think people don't really look at it as like a good movie, but hey, I enjoy. I enjoy. I need to see if it's on anything. Mm. The new Jumanji movies just kind of give... You know what they get off the same vibe, even though I do like this movie, is uh is that Kong movie. Oh, Peter Jackson's King Kong is on Netflix right now, and that's like... That's a good fucking movie. That's a really good... That's like one of those remakes where it's like, ah, oh, this is like... Probably the best King Kong adap adaption there is. Those bugs freaked me out. Those bugs were freaky, man. I don't know what they were thinking with the, with the, with the bugs in the cavern scene. Goddamn. 
Gross? What are you talking about, gross? Oh, here we go. Finally, the last piece of wool. Um... But, uh... What was I talking about? Oh, uh, I was talking about... Peter Jack and King Kong's, yes. The bug cavern? The bug cavern's gross. The bug cavern is like, that... That definitely gave me some... It's like... You know what? Also, pro, uh, like... Big props to the actors, because they didn't have any... Like, physical props to work with in that scene. They just, like... They just acted, like, as if they had giant bugs on them. And it's, like, really, really good. They did want to have a hell of a job. It's especially... It's that... Specifically, it's the part where, like, the guy's shaking off the big crickets off. It's just, it just... It freaks me out, man. It's... It, ugh. Gives me the... the it skews me out so bad. The giant worm things that start eating them, too. Those are weird. Crickets are weird. Crickets and potato bugs freak me out for whatever reason. Same thing as, like, the giant Weta. Ah, did you get the rid of... What's that one bug I've been seeing on in social media all the time lately? It's, like, the black bug with, like, the big, long antennae, and it's got these giant legs. It's got, like, wide-ass hips or whatever. How dare you come this far? How dare you, I say? Wake up, naval piranha. It's supper time. Yoshi's the main course, so bon appetit. Why are we talking about gross this so suddenly man because i don't know it's i'm thought about peter jackson king kong and how it's a good movie though i do think that begin with the nate the beginning with the natives is a little spicy i think i don't know i, I don't know if that works super well in these days oh i see what i'm supposed to do i understand idiot idiot i wish there i wish they would have kept kept the the bit in yoshi's island where you can kill him before you even get to him i that was such a good like what a good little attention what the fun little easter egg they put they put in for that i wish they kept it maybe you can actually can you in this maybe you could because he's asleep and you could probably i don't maybe actually now that i think about it uh i'm back how's it going it's going good we're talking about the peter jackson's king kong you know and the, the horrible bug scene when they're in the cavern full of the bugs. Ah, oh, fuck. I fucked that up. I would buy a plush of this toy. They should have made, like... I know they made the, uh, the Yoshi amiibo. But they should have made, like, plush toys of some of these designs, honestly. This is just the PD Piranha boss fight in Mario Sunshine. But instead of water, you use bombs. You can do that in this game too, but it doesn't kill him. What? That's kind of... Then why even have it in, man? What does it do? Does it take down some of the hits he takes at least? You know what this boss reminds me of? This boss reminds me of the Coily Rattler in um, Kirby Triple Deluxe. Specifically this this attack. The camp base says nice try, but that doesn't work or something like that. Okay, well at least uh, that's kind of funny. Like if for people that have played the first one. Okay. Yeah, that's it, idiot. There we go. Man, he just falls apart. That's kinda that's kinda disgusting a little bit. It's supposed to be a reference, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I wish there were more bot I I love little I don't know. That's like for some, like I maybe I'm blowing this one little Easter egg from the original game out of proportion, but that, I really love like that idea of like, oh, you can kill that, you can actually. Well, there's a few games like that, right? That have a thing where like if you do this before the boss, it'll kill it instantly. Like I know there's that famous one in Metal Gear, one of the Metal Gears, right? Where if you, mm, there's a part right before the final boss or something, where if you just go into like the GameCube memory or the PS2 memory uh, clock or whatever, and you like make years go by like you jolt up the years you go back into the game and the final boss is like an old man and he just dies and you don't have to fight him yo it looks like he's got like a horrible disease yo he looks like me when i break out oh i've been uh replaying um hmm. ice world it's the ice world uh, I've been playing Bowser's Inside Story lately. Original, not the remake. Uh, buh -buh. 
I had a whole conversation I wanted to go on about this. What was it? Oh, yeah, I guess it was... I wish... Well, this, I had kind of two conversations I wanted to kind of stem from this. One was that... Uh, I find it weird that, like... Okay, so obviously, you know, Nintendo takes down, you know, fan games every once in a while. But those fan games are usually only... And I'm not defending this at all. But those fan games are usually always remakes. I'm, su I'm surprised why... And, like, there's a ton of fan... Like, original Mario fan games. But they're always, like, 2D and shit. Or, like, you know... Or some sort of... There's something... Uh, why do, like, the RPGs not get more fan games? I know there's a lot of Paper Mario 64 uh, ROM hacks. There's two in particular. Well, there's a couple. There's the Black Pit, which is, like, you know, kind of standard. Kind of standard mod. I don't have... I don't have ball. Yo, how is this dude puking these dudes out? How... Does he... Does he is this where Shy Guys are born? Is this how Shy Guys are born? Lore? Lore? Um... But, um... I don't know. I feel, uh, I just wish. It's kind of the same thing with, like, why is there... Lo specifically with the Mario and Luigi games, why is it that, like, there's not a lot of hacks for the Mario and Luigi games? You know what I mean? Like, you get hacks for... There's even a few hacks for Super Mario RPG. I wonder if... I don't know. Is it, like, are those games just... On a technical level, very difficult to... Very difficult to, like, hack? Or is it just no one cares about and these games? And, well, people care about the games, but it's, like... It's just no one's really thought to even try to hack them. You know what I mean? I actually need some of these guys. Maybe it's too difficult at the moment. That's what I'm thinking, right? Because I feel you don't see a lot of uh, hacks for handheld games besides like New Super Mario Bros. DS and what have you. So maybe it just has to do with like how the game is made. Either way, I, I kind of, I, I, Bounce of that Story is definitely, you know, playing the, I'm playing the original, the remake does so many good, like, I, the main thing that the remake does that makes me ever want to even have the idea of playing it is that they, the Bowser sprite, I think, is way better, because he's way bigger. Playing the original right now, I am kind of noticing how, just how small, uh, how, just how small Bowser is in the original game. What the fuck? How do I get up? How do I get up? There we go. Okay. Um. But like, uh, what makes what makes me want to play it over the remake every time is the. I know that Pape Mario is difficult to mod. Surprisingly, that modern Pape Mario is difficult to mod. Surprisingly. I mean, we say, you say that, but then I've, I've seen, you know, there's that Origami King Refolded mod that looks very interesting. I actually haven't looked for an update for that in a hot minute. I should probably see how that's doing. Uh, but, um... Oop. But, um... But, yes. What makes me choose the, re the original over the remake is Ma really Mario and Luigi's sprites. Because Mario and Luigi's sprites are really, really good. Like, the remake does a lot of, you know, with lighting and make... But then it takes away a lot of the, like, little original stuff. And I think the style doesn't look as good as it did in the Superstar Saga remake. There we go. Um... Uh-oh. Shit. Ah, uh, darn it. But, um... Like, they're still trying to figure out how to mod Color Splash. Then why... How is Orma, Origami King so moddable, then? Maybe it has to do... Maybe it's a system thing, right? It has to do with, like, the system. I really hope that that was not... That was probably a flower. That was probably a flower. The fact that I don't even have one flower yet. It was probably a flower. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Oh, here we go. This will tell me. It is... What? Okay. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I missed two. Okay, let me go back then. Um, but yes. What the, what, what the Mario Luigi series did with Dream Team and Onwards, like, the modern, the, I guess you could say the modern Mario Luigi, even though, like, it's, I feel like that's, it's different from, like, saying, uh, it's, I, 
it's hard to say like modern Mario and Luigi style because like that makes sense with Paint Mario, but not really Mario and Luigi. Cause they never really changed fundamentally. But um, the, let's just say the li the lineless style, right? The the lineless style. Uh, what what Dream Team brought to the series, which the re the remakes did really well, which is uh, which I like about all that is they made it a lot flashier. Like in I love all the specials in Dream Team because when you do them, it's like it, it's like you it's like the enemies are getting hit with a truck like the slow down and like the big like of the screens uh original Bowser's inside story had that a little bit but not majorly uh i think dream team really perfected that like specifically with that one cannon in dream team you know what i'm talking about that like Come on. There we go. Um, read my previous comment. The girl's still trying to... Uh, I've been watching the guy stream and he says it's difficult to mod. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, there's probably one in here. Um, but yes, my, br I'm, my brain keeps going off track. Oh, I forgot to change a prana plant, Yoshi. I'll go do that uh, after this level. Ooh! Um... It's, it's the, yeah. It's the big, like, the, the pows and, like, the excellence and, like, the slow and it's like, it's, like, it's so good. It feels, uh, and that is always, I think that has always been, I think that ha always has been part of the series DNA is, like, the big flashy attacks. I mean, Kakaletti even says it as, god damn it, even says it as one of her... I'm just gonna waste my time now because there's something that's probably up there, man. I'm not missing it. Um, yo, low rider Yoshi. Uh, sorry, I keep getting my brain off track here. I keep this is probably this is probably the worst. <laughs> this is probably one of the most boring streams right now because I just keep forgetting what I'm saying immediately. Sorry about that. A little scatterbrained, I guess today. I guess it's just hard to sort of put into words what I mean because it's all about the feel, man. Like if. You like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I just hope, man, it's so sad, like, the state of even just the Mario RPGs in general, it's always sad to talk about, because, like, let's not even talk about modern Paper Mario, what have you. Like, it's just sad that we'll probably never get something as creative as even, like, Superstar Saga again, right? Oh, that's the other thing I want to say about, about the story. We uh, either way, the remake or the new, or the original, whichever, I still do think the series, uh, that game has a problem in that there's not a lot of unique set pieces. Okay, it wasn't up here. Uh, like, it, I don't know. None of the areas really feel like, even in Bowser's body, there's nothing feels... I'm not, like, doing a segment in Bowser's body and I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, wow, this place, it's not like Boggly Woods and Thousand Year Door. I fucked up again. Well, there's the bull. Uh, right? Where, like, you're... I don't know. That's what the Pate Mario series does, did so well. That... That why I think... I, why I like it a little... You know, a bit more than Mario and Luigi is just... Because even in Super... Like, Superstar Saga, I think, did it the best in terms of having unique locations. Because, like, you're in it... Like, sure, it might still be, like, grass and desert, but... Like, the, the, the idea of being in a different kingdom, that kind of said... It, that, that kind of puts something in your mind of like, okay, this is, like, you kind of forget that it is just another desert, another grass, because you're meeting so many unique creatures and, like, peoples and shit. Like, you got the hoo and you got the bean beans, not just, like, Toad. Meanwhile, Bowser's Side Story, you, like, have Bumpsy Plains, which is, like, kind of whatever. You have Bowser's Castle, which, like, we did that in the first game. And then you have, like, the best, the best locale in Bowser's Side Story is, oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Bro, why would they hide one right there at the end? You can hardly see it. I need this dude. Um. But, yeah, the, the best locale... Be careful with this. The best locale in... Everything being laughter theme of Superstar Saga is amazing. That, too... They put a real star on these, those general locations. I agree. I agree. 
the the place that really has the most style in the in Bowser's Side story is the fossilized Peach's Castle. Like that. Like I feel like because it the, something about the color scheme, just all the fossil faces plastered over on the peach on the peach statues, it really kind of brings a sense of like, oh shit. Partners in Time, I think, has like it has the inside of Yub, and I think Thwomp Volcano was probably the two most memorable locations. Maybe the Peach's Castle again, but uh, I definitely think the Fawfelized Peach's Castle is better than the Shrewbys Peach. I do wish Mario and Luigi Partners in Time was a better game because I really like the concept, right? The concept of like the threat and and the idea of like oh these aliens that are invading the past. That's how I always took it as because it also doesn't make sense. Like why would Toadsworth not remember the this in historical invasion? Um. Uh, but yeah, because like, I don't know, I, I really do like the shrews as like an enemy. No? Okay. Where is this then? Gritzy Desert? Eh, Gritzy Desert doesn't really do much for me. I don't know why. So, what? Oh, I had this in my mouth. I thought I had fire. Uh, do I have to go in one of these pipes? Okay. Up oh, there it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stop this. Fuck this guy. I hate this dude. I, all my homies hate Tic Tacs. Hello, the Koopa Seam. I don't even think. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I that too. I I read it. I saw it, man. That's still technically part of the Gritzy Desert. I don't think the Koopa Seam is that interesting, really, either. Now I gotta get that other one again. God damn, son of a bitch. How long have I been going? An hour? I got like another hour to do. I gotta get that, that piece of wool again. God damn it. Bada bing. Alright. I might have fucked up a little bit. Did I fuck up already again? Uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't think it's that interesting. It's trying, it's a little too generic desert, I guess, for me. I'm just gonna die. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a little too generic desert for me. There's nothing really interesting about it. The only significant thing is that it's got a PD Piranha fight, which I I I do love that guy. One of my favorite guys ever. All right. I don't care about you. Get out of my way. I think I need... I'm trying to figure out what to do. Stop! Okay. This level kind of sucks. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of tedious and annoying. This 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 whole concept of like freezing the ice. But the music. I mean, the music is fine. It made it like the most notable thing about Gritzy Desert that its music went got into Smash Brothers. Besides that, there's nothing really interesting about it. There we go. Okay, gotta get this again because I'm a because I'm a failure, and I only have one heart again, so I'm probably gonna die to the same tic tac again. No, I agree. This level isn't the best. It's it's just tedious. It's annoying. Kind of like it's kind of killing the mo it kills the momentum because it's so slow. Because like this, I mean, it's not the fastest game in the world, but like it's especially after this, right? You have this segment. This guy's this segment's pretty good, but then you just go back to oh, grab the thing, grab the fire. It's the Tic Tacs, too. I don't like those enemies. I really don't. They have a cool boss in the original game, but then they're just kind of... They get in the way.
There we go. There's two. I'm just going in. I don't care. Gucci uh, Desert... No, uh, Gucci Desert is one of the better desert-themed soundtracks in the series. I mean, it's fine. No, Tic Tacs are definitely worse than Hammer. Tic Tacs, yeah, because they're just a... I don't know. It's, like, fun to ch get challenged by Hammer, brother. It's the fact that I'm also just, like, only have one life here. It's a bit tedious. I'm going to use the other pipe. Because the other pipe didn't have the Tic Tac on this side, so I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if it'll let me let me through. Once again, these some of these wool placements are getting a little dubious. Yeah, here we go. There it is. Okay, now let, I just don't have to die. Knock on wood. Oh, this probably has hearts. Oh, thank God it does. All right, there we go. We're good. There we go. There's only one more to get now. Mm-mm. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, that's, that's, besides, like, the first game, that's, like, the, that, that's always been Mario and Luigi's, uh, weakest link, is the, is the settings. Like, the Tower of Yik is cool, but, like, it's not really anything. It's just, it's, like, it's not even really a level. The Tower of Yik would have been really cool as, like, a Bowser. I know, because it follow it, the reason it's a giant battle and then just, like, one room is because it follows up a Bowser segment. But I do kind of wish, um... It was like a whole like imagine it being like oh this ghost mad scientist man is like forcing you to go through a bunch of these trials and death traps right and maybe he you know what they should have done they should have had yix tower have one of the star cures and you get that one as bowser and you have to go through like this depth you have to go through like a zelda-esque dungeon figuring out puzzles oh that would have been good that would have been good that would have been a good use of the tower yik. Especially since I had a, I remember when I streamed that I had a lot of trouble with that uh, giant fight. That's mainly because I'm, yeah, you know. <gasps> that was close. Almost didn't get that. There we go, baby. Got all the things. Don't gotta worry about it. Uh, but yeah. I think the tower yik... Could have been a really... I think the Tower of Yik could have been, like, a really memorable set piece if they would have made it, like, an entire level. Or maybe even if you go back to it as, like, Mario and Luigi. You're right? I don't know. And you made it almost kind of like Bowser's Castle at the end of Superstar Saga with, like, all these puzzles and platforming. I think that would have been good, man. I'm trying to think maybe what other locations are there in the series that are interesting. I'm going to go back and get the Piranha Plant Yoshi real quick. Like, I guess the Vim Forest or whatever it is, that's kind of neat. But it's kind of more interesting because of its dark implications than it really is. It's like an interesting place. Paper Jam absolutely has zero interesting locales at all. Pilo Pillow Island is sort of interesting. I think... I feel like Pailo Island had the potential to be really cool, but, like, there wasn't enough there. I think the architecture, it's, like, very, you know, very San Francisco or, you know, seaside town with, like, you know what I mean? With, like, those colored, yeah, yeah, Yoshi Hut, with, like, the colored, um, oh, that's playtime, okay. Oh, I'm missing a Yoshi from these secret levels. Alright, so I'm not getting every Yoshi, but I kind of don't care. I like Pi- Uh, do you guys pronounce it, by the way, Pilo or Pillow? Because I always thought it was- Because the com, I thought it was like Pilo. But I guess it makes sense if it's Pilo. Pilo Island, Pillow Island, you know. Mm-mm-mm. Was that only the first level of this world? Hachi, Machi. Uh, frozen, solid, and chilled. Some of the places seem like a nice place to live, like Isle Delfino. I'll, well, even Isle... I don't know. I'm trying to think of... I guess Somnom Woods is a little neat. And Mush Rice Park, definitely... It's iconic. But 
for the game. I you know what I mean? I think I think the Dreamy Worlds. I I don't think the Dreamy Worlds or Bowser are that interesting as locations. Right? I think the most memorable lo I we're talking about inside Bowser for Martin uh for Bowser's store. I guess the Chub, the Fat Zone, which is the area I'm in right now in the in my replay. I guess that's that's kind of like the most memor one of the most memorable places, I guess. I don't know. Pillow, since everything is sleeping, I'm just die. I just yeah, yeah. That's probably how it is. I I'm just like I was probably just a dumb baby in 2013. Like it's Pilo. Um. There we go, number one baby. But um. Let's see. Let's try to think partners in time. You have Yub's belly. Like Yub's belly is probably. That's one of the most interesting locations in the series. But then they end. I feel like almost. Yub's belly is more interesting. Than. Ba uh, any of the insides of Bowser. Maybe just because the 2D. I don't know. I just don't... The 2D just may... You know, like, I like my R my Mario RPGs when they feel like these places with, like, living... Like, people are, are, are at. And the inside of Bowser doesn't really have that, I suppose. Mm, ba -ba -ba. That was two, right? Yeah. Yo, I like this dude. This is a good variant of a shy guy right here. Or of a Sniffet, I suppose. Whatever. The Shy Guy genus. No, I get it. There's nothing inside Bowser of the Dream World that really sticks out. Like, I guess there's Dreams Deep. I, I feel like I'm saying a lot of things, but also... But at the same time, I'm, like, saying these, but it's not like they're... When you compare it to, like, anything in Paper Mario, it's... it's You know what it is? It's because... So, it, it maybe the series here and there has, like, maybe five... Interesting locations... You know, that are, like, memorable, and maybe each game has, like, one mem big memorable. And, like, you might say, like, oh, okay, so there are memorable places, so what's your, what are you, you're talking semantics here. But I think the bigger thing is, it just, there's not, it doesn't have atmosphere. None of these places really have an atmosphere. Like, you know, like, they're, they're interesting and they're cool. I'd say out of all, all like, Yub is the only one that really has any sort of atmosphere, because with the music. But, like, like, um, I don't know. Uh, what was one of the ones I said? Uh, like Grumble Volcano, that doesn't really have any atmosphere. Yik uh, and there are some places that do have atmosphere, but they didn't do enough enough with, like Yix Tower. Ooh. I suppose Dreams Deep is nice, yeah. I don't know, I feel like we're, like I said, I feel like we're coming up with a lot of things here, but, th but if you look at it, it's like... When you compare it to, like, Paper Mario, they're not... Very interesting. Or as in... You know what it is? They're interesting. They're just not super special. I think that's what... Like, there are definitely... It has some location. I don't know. I think, like I said, it's once again, for me, it's the it's the whole... I like it when a world feels lived in and a lot of the stuff in Mario and Luigi doesn't feel lived in. Like, they might be interesting, you know. Be like, oh, this is like a cool place, but it's not like... In Paper Mario, you go to a new town and you're like, yo, what's the story here? Like, what's going on here? In Mario and Luigi, you're just like, oh, okay, this is a place. Like, you go to Chuckalock Woods, and you're just like, okay, this is woods. Or you go to, like, Fa Peaches, uh, Fawful's, Fawful Ice Peach's Castle, and you're like, yo, this is cool, but it's, it's like, it's not, I'm not, like, I've, it's Peach's Cat, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm being too hard on Mario. Now I feel like maybe I am being too hard on Mario. Maybe it does have interesting locations. Maybe it is just, uh, there was definitely a piece of wool in here that I missed. I gotta restart this. Uh, Pailo, Pailo Island Shell Kingdom does ha do that well with the uh, Pillow Castle and Wakeport. Wakeport, yeah, Wakeport in particular. Pillow Castle too, but nothing really is done in Pillow Castle. No, I agree. There's nothing from Inside Story Dream World that really sticks out. You know what it is. You know what it might also be is that even if there is stuff in Bowser's in Bowser's body in Dream World in Dream World that does stick out, it's that it's just not as fun. It's not. I don't know, man. It's hard. I guess I, I think I'm just talking in circles here. I think anybody, people on watching YouTube later are going to be like, what the fuck is this dude? Literally the Jesse. What the fuck are you talking about? Breaking Bad meme. Maybe just that it's not as fun to explore Mario and Luigi. I think it just goes down to that. It's not as fun to explore Mario and Luigi locations as it is Paper Mario locations. I feel like there's something over here. No? There's definitely every time there's been a wool in every single one of these. I feel like there's got to be one somewhere that I'm just missing. 
four, three. I feel like I'm missing them. I feel like there's gotta be one. You look how some ores are living here and something happening there. Yeah. But you don't ever really need to go back to it. I heard some people say they like Paper Jam more than... Uh, like, well, they didn't like it more, but like... On a moment-by-moment -moment gameplay thing, they, they were having more fun. It's one of, like... Moment by moment, they were more invested. Like they're more invested because it's because uh, the gameplay. But like the story, they still agree with the story shit. Because I will say, like I, I get why people are a little hard on Dream Team because like that four-hour tutorial. But even then, I don't know if that's that. It's it, I don't know if it's that bad, man. I do think that if you played the remakes and then went and played Dream Team, it'd be a little hard once you have the ability to skip cutscenes. You know what I mean? Um, up oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, bu -bu -bu. there we are. Give me that watermelon. This level's this level is way better than that previous level. I feel like this level's going at a good pace. I only want to back tr like this is not it's not nearly as tedious. This is what sushi is, right? Isn't sushi supposed to be one of these things? Like, it's exactly the same colors and everything. Uh... Can I... No. Maybe I get some fire up here. You know if Paper Jam has good gameplay, it doesn't really matter. Because my attention is the story sucks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I also think... I feel like... The only way to, like... Uh, the only way to... It's harder, because even people who've said, don't, you know, say, like, they had fun to get, uh, moment by moment gameplay. Uh, they, even they admit it's harder to, than ever to tell, you know, in the other games, in the other Mario and Luigi games, it's not that hard to tell who, oh, who, what, what attack is hitting which brother. But in Paper Jam it is, because, like, it's, it, like, for, King Bomb, for instance, has, like, an attack where he, like, kicks a bomb, and it's hard to tell, sometimes it's hard to tell whether he's aiming towards Mario or Paper Mario. And, I don't know, I feel like the only way to play that game without getting frustrated at that sometimes is with the aim assist. With, like, the dot, like, that basically tells you which attack is going to who. And also in those remakes, the fucking, those side things are so bad. I'd say maybe the Bowser Jr.'s journey is a little bit better because it gives Bowser Jr. some character and it has Kamek in there and the Koopalings. And it has a little story. I don't like the fitness fiends. Those dudes are uh, stupid. And also, I also don't understand this, because they're- I- I don't know if this is a, was a mistranslation in an article, or if they actually think this in either way. I think then the developers are like- is a kind of a dumb thing to say on the developers end. They said the- the fitness fiends? Yo. Uh-oh. They said the- the fitness fiends are the same species as, as Midbus? Uh, oh, okay. And I just don't, like, that's... You, I, that's gotta be a mistranslation or something, because if that's right, then that's, like, stupid. That's just stupid. Because that doesn't make sense to me. Like, what, how? How, in what way, shape, or form? Spit water, we haven't really seen that from any other color cheap cheeps, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, am I supposed to... Oh, yeah, here we... Oh, yo, there's some Wario Land shit. Interesting that these guys don't hurt you. Like, is this the one enemy in the game that does something like this? Like, some this Wario Land thing? Uh, this just summons him. Alright, well, there we go. Is that all of them? That is! Wow, this level was way less frustrating. There we go. Uh, minigame. Um. But, yeah. I hope at some point, because I really do, because like you could say like, oh, the Mario and Rabbit games are the new, <sighs> um, the new RPGs, but I don't know. I don't feel like the Mario and Rabbit games have lasting power. Like, I could maybe we still don't even know what that deal that, that the DLC for that. Like, when did that game come out? September. I guess that's like still like over six months away. 
but it's been a while now, and we haven't gotten any word on that DLC. Maybe that's going to be their holiday thing. Right? Maybe because, like, we, you know, we got a lot of games the last director were talking about are, are coming, like, soon. Even Pikmin 4 is, like, in just a few months. So, I'm wondering if, like, the Rabbids DLC is going to be kind of their main thing. That could also be another showing of, like, yeah, the Switch is in its Twilight years if, like, DLC is, like, the big thing. Lemo! I hope the Rabbids games aren't the substitute. Mar yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't think they have lasting power. Like, 2 was good. 2 was definitely better than the first one, even if, but it felt less Mario-y. But, like, whatever. Bowser's in it. That's all I care about. Um, but I just don't... I think the DLC for for Rabbids 2 will happen. And then I don't think we're going to get a third. I think the, the novelty will wear off. Ooh, this is a nice costume. Glacier. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, I just don't think. I think... I do think, eventually, at some point, we will get the return of the Mario RPGs. Now, whether they're going to be more like modern Paper Mario, or they're going to be like... The classic RPGs in general, like Mario, Luigi, or Paint Mario, is will have to be seen. But I also think it's going to be a long time until we see another Mario RPG. I think we're going to have to wait, like... It might be like... An, I could see us, like, not seeing another Mario RPG. Oh, okay. Another Mario RPG for, like, 10 years. I could, really, I could see us not getting another Mario RPG to, like, mid-next console generation, or what have you. It's one of those things, right? I mean, hey, if they were willing to give up, I don't know. Now, Paper Mario, I just, I think we'll get Paper Mario games, I just don't, you know, but... I think we're de we will, but uh, I just don't think they'll be what we want. I don't know if they'll ever go back. I don't know if they'll ever do what we want with Paper Mario again. I've talked about Paper Mario, I talked about Paper Mario so much on stream, so I feel kind of flabbergasted talking about it even more, but... I guess it has to be said. That sounds really dreadful. Hey, man, I'm just kind of being realistic. The way the company is now, I just don't see them... I don't think they care. I don't think they get why people like those games. I think that's pretty obvious with... How well, um... How well did Origami King score? Like, how, like... What it, What was, like, the... 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 Common rating... Because, you know, obviously I stand on one side of the fence, but people who, like, don't really care or don't, or, like, have either never played the old games or just kind of don't really care if the old style ever comes back, you know, we, the, the, I guess the general popular, what was, like, the general populist consensus, not, like, the one-sided consensus? Honestly, don't remember? Because I feel like if Origami King, like, Origami King probably sold really well because it was on the Switch. Uh, so... I could, I just don't, I don't think they're gonna have any intention of going back. Still hate that interview Tana uh, with Tanabe, where he just, like, they make it, Tanabe makes it seem like they had five games with that original style, when it was only two, man. They really make it seem like, oh, we gotta do no, something new and interesting. Okay, if you do want to do something new and interesting, why do you keep refusing to have EXP? Why do you keep doing these battles with, where well, your attacks are items? Why do you keep doing i don't know why do you keep having the only generic mario and if you like really want to do something new i i feel once again i'm sorry we're getting into this conversation like i said we i, I do i do this a little too much i think i, I just probably shouldn't i like we probably even talked about this like three streams ago and it's, i'm just reiterating the same shit as i always do you know what's a series that hasn't done that though that i think is kind of the opposite of paper mario where They've always listened and they've always stayed true to the series, even through any type of changes, is Pikmin. I think Pikmin has... is one of those games where it is just always... Like, you know, they, you know, there are changes from game to game, but it's always stayed faithful to what the series is. Right? Besides, like... Hey, Pikmin... But, like, that was a spinoff, so it's fine. It's not like that's become become the main series. 
Can we drive to? I feel like I can go down here. I feel like this is a secret down here. Yep. Uh, not for a thing, though. But, uh, jump on it. But, um, I feel like the Pikmin is the opposite. Yeah, in that regard, in that, like, we got two good games, and then the third one, while well, different, was still good. But then we got, we're getting the fourth one soon, and it looks like it's even gonna have caves back. So it's like they're doing what the fans really liked again. Oh, thank you, Flurry. Can I get through this? No, is that just for aesthetic? Is this what Flurry is supposed to be in Paper Mario, speaking of which? Because, like, these enemies are literally called Flurries. I like how they made them out of cotton balls on this. Very nice. My throat's a little parched. Do I have water? I do not. Yeah, I got, like, another 20 minutes anyways to do, like, a full stream. Okay, that was for nothing. Gotta make sure I don't miss the third one on this level, because I feel like it'll be a pain to do this level over again. This level isn't that bad. It's it's a little obtuse, but I appreciate the mechanic, I suppose. It just says Flurry is a wind spirit. I guess this it's just a coincidence then. What are these dudes supposed to be? These dudes look like fucking plant versus zombie characters. Like, this is something I'm gonna put in my garden. Alright. You know what this reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of, um, some of those platforms in Mario 64. You know what I'm talking about? In, like, Hazy Maze Cave? Uh, I'll take these. I don't know, they, uh, I don't know what they are either, TBH. Whatever, man, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because Vivian's the best character in the video game. Man, I just love all those characters so much. Like, Nintendo really could just, like... Huh. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I understand. There we go. Baby carpet. They really could just have, like, infinite characters for Mario Kart and Mario Spinoff, but they're just like, nope. <laughs> yeah, here we are. That is three. What's this gonna? What's Yoshi? Is this gonna be? This is gonna be like Storm Yoshi. <laughs> you know what I was just thought about? Yeah, I always talk about like a Bowser game, and like it would be a 3D beat 'em up. I just thought of something. I'd, I'm be, what I'm basically asking for is like, remember how Bowser was in Skylanders? I'm basically asking for that, but. It, a full game, and obviously more developed. You know, a little more thought put into it, made by Core Nintendo. Mm. I love you, but she's not my favorite partner, not even top three. It's because you're a freak, man, because you want those Koopas. You want that Koopa shell. I know you. These bedposts in the background look like grandmas wearing, like, nightcaps. Did you see what I'm talking about? Hmm... You know what this carpet room also kind of reminds me of? You know, I, I people talk a lot of shit about those new Super Mario Brothers games, but there are some good mechanics. It reminds me of, like, the bridges that, like, enemies would... I should replay one of those. I don't think I've played... Replayed a new Super Mario Brothers game. I think I've only played through Super Mario Brothers Wii once in my life. And I think I've done, like, new Super Mario Brothers U maybe twice. I think if I do that, though, I'm definitely going to want to do that multiplayer. I need... Er Eris needs to get all our shit ready in her new house so we can do Pikmin 2 four-player co-op. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is exactly like that. The new Super Mario Brothers Wii. It's only the, it's not only the Koopa Troopers, man, I like more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to fuck Bobbery? Is that what you want, huh? Hmm? A bomb? He's going to explode. You're going to die. That is four. All right, one more. I do love Bobbery though. He's so, so good. Such a good character. Top, one of the top Mario characters. That's another thing, right? In Mario and Luigi, like the most interesting characters are like, maybe besides besides Superstar Saga, the most interesting characters in those games are like the villains. Like Brock Monshore is cool, but like, he's not cooler than Prince Peasley was. And then every other time, it's like, yeah, the Shrews are cool, and then you got 
in Paint Mario, you had, like, loads of interesting characters. You had, like, chapter-specific characters, and you have, like... And then you have partners, which had their own backstories and, and, and unique, you know, things going on. There we go. That's all that. Mario Luigi is good. Mario Luigi is really is really the best at at expanding on Mario, Luigi, and Bowser. Like that's those games do those three characters a lot of justice and no one else. Uh, I like Goombella, for example. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I also enjoy Goombella. I'm never sure what voice to give her though. I kind of just give her like a Valley Girl, even though I don't know if that's the best. Goombella, Goomba I do like Goombario, man. There's something about Goombario that's really good. Once again, I do think 64 is, uh, I really, I si I like 64 visually than the other, than any other Paper Mario. Like, I love Thousand Year Door, don't get me wrong, but that visual style of 64 is really, really nice. I like the chunky sprites. I like how chunky that line art is. Where's these stamp patches? I do not care. I'll do, like, one or two more levels, depending on how fast we go. Yo, is that dog Yoshi? Panda Yoshi, what? Alright, what well, do you got a fortress? So this will be pretty easy to go through, at least, you know, for, for the things. Let me change a costume. I do like this Yoshi, but I want to be an amiibo. She does speak like the Valley Girls, so, uh, so it would be fine, I think. I forgot what I give, gave her when I streamed Thousand Year Door. That was almost two years ago now, man. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I just want the Yoshi hut. Yeah, why is this dude here? Is that because I became... That's interesting. Uh... And a Yoshi... Or the Amiibo Yoshi's not here? I don't think the Amiibo Yoshi's are here. I gotta go into the Amiibo hut for that. Look at him go, man. I was watching the those uh, Wooly World shorts they made a few years back for Yo uh, Pucci and Yoshi's Wooly World uh, port to the 3DS. Uh, those are good. I really love those. Those are fantastic. All right, who do we got? I don't got a lot, man. I want to be... I kind of want to be the Pac-Man Yoshi. I like this yellow. This yellow and red combo. And then he's got orange arms like OG Mario World Yoshi. Oh, I didn't I didn't see the that you followed Liam Kid now. I just saw that now. Are right, I hope you're still here. Oh, you are not. Damn, I didn't see that. How did I miss I Yeah, I feel bad about missing that, but so be it. Whatever. Hmm. Uh lately my streams my streams on YouTube like I said earlier, my streams on YouTube have been getting a lot of views, you know. The uh, you know. But live lately I haven't been getting a lot. A lot of my mods haven't been showing up lately, which is fine. I know people got their own shit to do. I'm not letting it get to me too much, though. Mm. Big Montgomery's Ice Fort. This motherfucker again. <sighs> but yeah, I've been getting like 20 views on these Yoshi Blue World videos, and that's been nice. No, now that I say it, I'm gonna get like two on this. So I wonder if sometimes it's just the algorithm too. I wonder if like it's if it's not even the game up if it's like Because sometimes some streams will some stream uploads will get like thirty views and the next one will get like eight. And it's like what how? Where is it? How does this happen? Oh yes, the porn no, no. Yo, it's the penguins from Paper Mario. I feel like there's immediately something here. There is. Yo, this is like one of those. Remember those like things you'd get like uh, from like a. Like, they'd always be like the prize center at like a, at, like an arcade or whatever, and it'd be those squishy things. It'd be those squishy things with like the dolphins inside, or whatever of like the goo inside, the gooey tubes. This is that's exactly what that was that Yoshi just went into. The Hammer Brothers aren't in this game. You know this clueless. You gotta, you gotta come to terms with that. Yo, Tetris. Yo, Tetris. 
I wish there wasn't a po I wish there wasn't a Poyo Poyo Tetris too, so I could play Tetris with people. That'd be fun streams, I think. That'd be fun. Dude, that game can get fucking competitive. That can get heated. Poyo Poyo Tetris matches. That shit can get heated. I love that. I love that game. I only have, the, like I said, I only have the first one. Maybe I should. How much? I don't even know how much the second one is. Oh. If I ever got the, if I ever got the money, I'd probably buy it. I mean, I do have the money now, but it's like I kind of, I haven't worked. I haven't acquired new money in a hot minute, so I'm kind of just like I don't want to be purchasing too, you know, purchasing too frivolously. I want the big strong hammer brothers. Too bad, so sad. Go. Uh. I can't think of anything that rhymes. I was trying to think of a bit, couldn't think of a bit. Um, my brain's not fit for making bits, man. This is this is what this is the this is what I have for a bit. Guys, leave a propeller suit for each of us. Yeah, don't be selfish. Obama, what did we just say? My bad, bro. Guys, you need to listen. If we don't get the star coins, then we will need to go back and get them after. What's a star coin? This guy is dumb as hell, bro. I'm going through the pipe. What the fuck, Obama? We forgot to get the star coins. Too bad. What? How did I die? I thought you killed the hammer, bro. Should have been paying attention to the game, not sleeping, buddy. Ah, oh, fuck you. Guys, let me on the flagpole. I need to get a one-up. Nope, too slow. Well, now, noob. Trump, check your DMs. Okay, is that a fucking picture of my house? Issuing drone strike now. That's what I have for my bits. That's what I have for my bits. I gotta steal bits I find on Twitter because I have no bits of my own. I like the glare on those, uh, on those, on that candle. Uh-oh, I don't have anything to hit this with. I mean, I just got one, so this is probably isn't one. Yo, that penguin do be flying, though. That's a good... I really enjoy that one. I really I saw that today, and I was like, Oh, I gotta save this, man. You know, I saw one earlier when I was setting this one up, but I'm not too sure what it is. Like, I don't remember what this one is. Many underscore pink. You know, maybe I should look at it before. Wait, 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 wait cancel. Let me actually look what, at what this one is real quick before I do anything. Oh, okay, it was this. Okay, never mind. It was, it was, um, it was the Kirby. I couldn't remember. Yeah, because that was the one I got from RPG. That se you sent me that one. I, I couldn't remember that one. Oh, I need, Clueless, if you're, you know, we're gonna probably gonna end it after this level, most more than likely. I need to be reminded to raid someone. I wish it was easier to do, but you like, I got I have to like, I'm gonna have to like go on Twitch and open like the the panel or whatever and raid someone. I'll have to see who is live, if anyone I know is live. Mm. Yeah, maybe YouTube audiences like this game, but also it's just like pizza. I've been getting people coming for Pizza Tower. I have been enjoying Pizza Tower, but like I said. That's going to have to take a back seat soon here. I'll try to mind then. I'll try to remember as well. There's definitely like one or two people I would like that are usually still streaming, that are streaming by the time I'm streaming. Sad that it'll have to happen when I've only got one viewer going, but you know, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. I just got to remember to do it more often. Uh-oh. Hope I didn't miss one. I mean, the castles, they are a bit more straightforward. Yeah, I wish it was as simple as, like, slash raid, then username. You know what I mean? Oh, you think you could trick me? I see this shit, Bumpty. Bumpty the goddamn penguin. Gonna go, note, note! That's a show I used to watch as a young baby, too. I watched, uh, I watched Pengu. I remember Pengu, man. I was a Barney and Bob the Builder baby. That's why I, I kind of do like that new Barney design. Have you seen the people being like, they're gonna make Barney woke? Have you seen that? That's pretty funny. Uh, before I leave this room, I'm gonna have to give it a good double check. I'm still missing three. I don't want to hit any checkpoints. I'm, I'm looking around. I got the secrets, too, so it's if it's in a hidden cloud, it's not getting past me. Uh, I haven't, but I like the new Barney Design 2 TBH. He looks good, man. I mean, I will always prefer... My preferred Barney, honestly, 
is like the early like dark blue purple Barney. Fuck, I did miss one. All right, I might need to jump down a pit or even restart. Can I go back? I might not be able to go back into the previous room. I might need to jump down a pit, but I also think I just got a checkpoint, so I might need to restart the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, let me just, I'm just gonna look out up where it is right now and then restart the level so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so I just don't have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Might as well. It makes, uh, the stream easier for everybody. Haunt Gummery Ice Fort. So which one? I missed three. I always miss three. It's always three. It's always three. Okay, there's them getting... Getting two. Or no, that's one. There's them getting two. What? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I might not need to go back. Depending on where this was. Oh no, I might have flubbed it. Yeah, I flubbed it. I do need to restart. Alright. I know where it is now, though. Easy peasy lemon breezy. Alright, alright, alright. I got it now. I got it now. I know where it is. I just didn't look good enough. Because I'm stupid. I do like this Yoshi. It's a good Yoshi. See, this is like... I, I'm so, go so back and forth on, like, yellow as a color. I think maybe because I associate it in my brain with, like, you know when you have, like, a yellow color pencil and you try to color in, but then it just, like, smudges with the, with the, with the, with the lead or what have you of the pencil, and it just makes it, like, a nasty-ass baby puke poop green. That's why I never liked yellow, but when, like, when you get a nice Pac-Man yellow like this, this is pretty good. I enjoy Okay, I suppose the what? What was I talking about? What did I say? I don't remember. I'm like a senile old man. Mm, I don't think anyone in, like, biologically related to me. Oh, I already missed the first one. I don't think anyone biologically related to me has ever had Alzheimer's. Yoshi, what the fuck is wrong with you? Looking the thing up. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention because I was thinking about something else. Yeah, I'll probably end the stream after after this level. Just because I'm I'm also running out of things to say. And then tomorrow, well, you know, 9 p.m. West Coast time. Uh, for East Coasters, the old, that'll be midnight. Uh, sorry, sorry if that's a little late. But it's a Friday, so who, you know. Or no, it'll be a Thursday. I don't know. Whatever. That's when I'm, I'm going to be streaming Return it. Probably just be for like an hour, because I'm not going to want to stay at two, up two hours doing that. Playing the game. Listen, I stay at... My longest stream ever was Deltarune Chapter 2 at like five hours. None of the... Not even any of the Forgotten Land streams got like that. There we go. Forgotten Land streams got to like four hours. For three to four hours. I think I was also really, uh, really kicking. It. I wanted to. I wanted to play chapter two. I still have the Deltarune chapter two original recording on my computer, and the Forgotten Land finale original recording on my computer, just because I don't. I don't want them to go away. You know what I mean? I just keep them there, and like they're both take. That's a, that's and that's probably taking up a lot of space on my computer because they're both like five four hours. But so be it, man. It's for sentimental purposes because i am a sentimental old fool a, a character in a movie would say i'm a sentimental old fool and be like yes you are correct yeah these two are really close to each other joshi please 
Uh, yeah, so it's right here. It's like, it's all, they're all right next to each other, these three. I just didn't see it. It's right there. Whatever, man. Except not whatever, please! If I start at the beginning of the level again, I'm gonna... God, fuck. I, please, please. Yo, he's got tires for feet, please. I just want to beat the level. I want to beat the level, please, for the love of gob. You know, speaking of, like, God, like, that made me think about Adventure Time. Wasn't there, like, that one really good Adventure Time, uh, a game, Ice King, why didn't you, how was that? I think I played that game once. I don't know, did I play it on, like, I think I got it on, like, 3DS download play. How good is that game again? I know it's got some decent sprite work, and, like, the main theme for it, for some reason, is, like, really rocking. You know, people will probably, most people will probably remember, will probably remember, oh no, did I not get enough things? Oh my god, you tell me, oh my god, oh my god, no, please, please, Ugh. We're never finishing this level, we're never finishing this level, it's all just been from my pure incompetence as well. It's all just been nothing but my pure incompetence and, and being a failure at being a god gamer. It's also an ice level, so maybe I shouldn't be too hard on myself. And also, these castles have always had some dubious checkpoints. Do it, man, I've just been saying dubious a lot lately. You said it, not me. Listen, I've come to terms with it, man. I th I'm a gamer at some stuff, not a gamer at other stuff. And I think, obviously... I'm, I'm also a better gamer when I'm not streaming, obviously. I think that goes without saying. I think a lot of people are probably better at video games when they're not streaming them. Because they don't have to entertain at the same time. Streaming does take it out of me. Like, honestly, it does. Like, after I'm done streaming, I really it does feel good just to relax. Because you know, I talk so much, and I, I'm somewhat relaxed, right? I'm not, like, totally tensed up. Some games relax me more than others, but, um... There's still a, a certain tense, right? It's like performing, right? It's like how any anybody performing anything. I'm not going to call it streaming and being an artist, but like, you're definitely a performer. And it just, you know, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of brown, because like, you know, especially me, because I don't do much, so I got to think a lot. Like, I got to ha have things talk about in my brain. And that's probably why I bring up Paper Mario so much, because, uh, one second, I'm scratching. Scratching my head. That's probably why I bring up Paper Mario so much is because that's, like, one of the few things that I could talk about that I also, I, I would, ima I like to think, think that I'm, uh, educated on. That's why I also need to go back, I did it last year, I need to go back, I, ha I hadn't been doing it in a while, I need to go back to putting... Putting down notes of things to talk about on stream. Of like, oh, this is a thought I had. Because usually I will have things to talk about I have to talk about on stream, and then I'll totally forget it. There's probably something right now that I was thinking about. Alright, whatever. I know that's not anything. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And also, I guess the Paint Mario thing is just a conversation piece. As a Nintendo head, for any Nintendo people. All right, there we go. We got it. We're good now. I forget where this one was. I wish I could do save states. I do wish I had save states. That wasn't anything, right? I don't, I don't believe it was, because I came back down here looking for it. Oh, yes, it was up here. Somewhere. Hmm. No, it wasn't down here, but I'll go in here anyways. I do think Kirby uh, has done better collectibles than Yoshi. I think... Uh... One second, I think I passed it. Oh, you know what? I think I need to go up here and then jump up. Yeah, here we go. Um, I, the 
how Kirby did collectibles in Return to Dream Land, Ro a Triple Deluxe and Robobot is so, so good. I think I've talked about this before. I, I like the Waddle D collection. I think it was a little, a little too... Yeah, a little too secretive at times. I think the the or the sphere energy spheres, sunstones, and the cubes were perfect, even if like they got to be like five at a time. Has Yoshi done anything better than Kirby? Um I'm trying to think. Has Yoshi done anything better than Kirby? Probably not. I would maybe say art styles, because, I mean, it's changed art styles multiple times. Like, almost every Yoshi game is in, in a different art style. Probably the closest to being the distant crafted world, right? Being, like, the ones that are probably the most similar. I do wish New uh, New Island was a better game, because I think that visually it looks really good. I love the crayon look. And that's no fault on Yoshi. It's just, you know, when you have two... The two Nintendo characters that, you know, like to eat. No. Okay. Well, I mean, I've had checkpoints this time, so I wouldn't start from the beginning of the level. But, uh, you know. There's gotta be one that's not as good, and Kirby's definitely better than... I think... What did I... What did I get in here? Whatever. Uh, and I think Kirby's even better than some 2D Mario games. I think Kirby... Uh, there's a... There's... That's hard to say, though, because Mario World is really good, but I think I'd say on average, there are 2D Kirby games. Bro, please? Yo, these penguins starting to piss me off, I'll be honest. Stop. I just want to play the video game. Please. I think, I, I, I think Tropical Freeze, I think Donkey Kong's perfected 2D more than Kirby and Mario have. But I think Mario, when it comes to... I think when it comes to 3D games, Mario still has it beat. Has it... Has them beat. You know what I mean? I don't get... Get me wrong, I love Forgotten Land, and it's a good game. Uh, and I don't think there's... I think Donkey Kong 64 is also not good. Okay, here we go. Jeez. I like how Monty Moles were hardly in this level. <sighs> that was probably hearts. I gotta remember to do a raid before I end stream. I gotta remember. Yeah, this will definitely be the last level because we're already at hour 47. Yo, look at him slide. You again. Of course it's you again. Okay, time to chill out, Yoshikins. How does this one go? Oh. Yo, that now he's got a bandage on his ass. Now I gotta literally whoop his ass. Oh, I remember this one. This kind of reminds me of the owl in Tropical Freeze. But yeah, Tropical Freeze is such a good fucking 2D platformer. It really makes me wish... Okay. I probably could have hit him and gotten a hit there, but I... There we go. But I, uh, I was too scared. I was in, like, a tight spot. Damn, we're in a tight spot. I love that movie. I love Old Brother Wild. That's such a good movie. I enjoy. You gonna bounce up again? I don't know if that made him go down or if that was just a coincidence. Okay. Fuck. I got a lot of hearts. It's okay. Get out of here. There we go. That was close. That'll be the end of him, though. That was a pretty good boss. I do like the idea of bosses, you know, coming back for revenge. I, I think that's always a good idea in video games. But sometimes if... It could be too much. This guy's appeared like three times. That's... You can do that. You can do something like that where a specific boss comes back like again and again and again. Like Popple, right? But then you have to make sure that they're a, like a fun character. 
you got you can't just like have a nobody or like this like this Mon like this Montgomery mole or else it just kind of gets tedious. Right? You know what I'm saying? All right. Got a new power badge, the Firewater Million. Uh, what Yoshi is this? This just looks like a bunch of, like, five other Yoshis, Frostbite Yoshi. Yeah, all right. I kind of start running out of patterns here. I'm not running out, but they save the good stuff for... Yo, look at that little guy. Funny little man. Alrighty. Let me... Actually raid somebody for once. Where do I gotta go? I think I gotta go to Creator Dashboard. Uh, I don't know. I always forget how to do this. Well, wait, let me see who's even... Who's, who's even going right now? Oh, I know. I can see someone who's streaming. They're actually playing Kirby's Epic Yarn, so we'll do that. We'll raid, uh, Sup Sum. Uh, they've been, they've been, they've been in the chat a few times. Uh, what's... Oh, man. There it is. Start raid. All right. So, uh, yeah, go there. I know there's only one of you, but hey, it's it's the thought that counts. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Goodbye. Goodbye. Guys, leave a propeller suit for each of us. Yeah, don't be selfish. Obama, what did we just say? My bad, bro. Guys, you need to listen. If we don't get the star coins, then we will need to go back and get them after. What's a star coin? This guy is dumb as hell, bro. I'm going through the pipe. What the fuck, Obama? We forgot to get the star coin. Too bad. What, how did I die? I thought you killed the hammer, bro. Should have been paying attention to the game, not sleeping, buddy. Ah, fuck you. Guys, let me on the flagpole. I need to get a one-up. Nope, too slow. Well, now, noob. Trump, check your DMs. Okay, is that a fucking picture of my house? Issuing drone strike now. 